What the hell is this? I'm gone for three days and you redecorate. Welcome back, Rodimus. How was Meteor Fest? <laughs> Epic. What are you doing? Well, we were remarking on how you always disappear when there's work to be done. He can muster the energy to surf meteors for three days, but he can't be bothered to return our calls. So true. Don't. What? Finishing each other's sentences. The whole back and forth thing. It's unnerving. It unnerves me. People will talk. The point is, you got back just in time. We're entering Mauler territory. Hmm? The Maulers. Anti-mechanical terrorists. Split from the Galactic Council. Legendarily violent. So why not go around their territory? It's the principle. If we allow ourselves to be intimidated by robophobes, if we shrink from prejudice and bigotry, we've betrayed what it means to be a Cybertronian. You're right. So, what's the plan? We're going to pretend to be asleep and hope they don't notice us. In 30 minutes time, the whole crew will go into artificial hibernation. Meaning? Everyone will seal themselves into a biometric envelopment device, similar to a stasis pod. The pods will hide our life signs for the duration of the journey. And once everyone's safely inside their pods, this cloaking machine will generate a ship-wide invisibility field. Why is it green? Why shouldn't it be? Anyway, put this on. We're about to test the machine. You know I hate this. It's a brain shield. Exposure to invisibility fields has been linked to irritability, erratic conduct, chronic moping, and extreme sarcasm. God, imagine if anyone on board started exhibiting those behaviors. These lights are everywhere. What are they, signal boosters? They'll ensure the entire ship is cloaked. Brainstorm was supposed to be in charge of putting them up. Oh, he said he's run into some problems with his excuse generator. His obsession with abstract weaponry is beginning to grate. He spent the last two weeks building a contrivance engine. Energon tab, take the packet. Ah, cheers. A contrivance engine? Don't ask. I've no idea what it does. Silent light. Swerves. This, my friends, is the good stuff. That's because it's subspace filtered. It starts life on Luna 1 as ordinary injects, but subspace travel unlocks all the hidden flavors. I love it so much it's making me sad. Yeah, shame the subspace hatch isn't any bigger. I'd have asked Cerebros to send it over in vats, not bottles. Speaking of which, did anyone bring the other crates inside? If I wasn't slightly under the influence, I'd remind you that under Section 2.4 of the Spoil Sport Act, subspace hatches must only be used to relocate essential equipment and medical supplies. And that is my Ultra Magnus impression. It's still a work in progress. Me and Mags are like this at the moment. I made him a compilation of Earth music. All the crooners. Still, if he discovers you've been importing contraband NGX and having lock-ins... Eh, he's too busy preparing for the big sleep. He's not gonna bother us. It's him! Run! No, hide! No, run and hide! I'll deal with this. I feel like I'm responsible for the lock-in? The lock-in and pretty much everything that's happened in the last four million years. Note to self, don't beat up prisoners. Huh? Hibernation in T-minus 15 minutes. All crew members are to proceed immediately to the observation deck where they will find a bed. Biometric envelopment device. Nautica, swerve. Please tell me this isn't what I think it is. Because if it is, I don't think my face can do this turn of events justice. It's a protoform! Are you sure? 
Uh, I know a newly minted Cybertronian when I see one. I thought protoforms were cortical. No, no. All shapes and sizes. She's warm, but then she would be. The Cynthia Metallico, the birth metal, doesn't cool down till it's found its final shape. She's at a very delicate stage of the process. Give it a few minutes, let the deep coating do its work, and we should see a face. A few hours, and might even be able to guess an alt mold. She was in one of the crates. Which means she was sent here. But why? What are we supposed to do with her? It's a message from Primus. He's telling us to put her back in the crate until someone more responsible comes along. We can't just leave her. If she's not hibernating when we enter Mola space, she'll give away our location. Okay, fine. We'll send her back to Luna 1. Where's the subspace hatch? It was in the meta bay, but Magnus thought it was insecure, so we moved it. Okay, so where is it now? What do you mean it's locked? Why are you surprised? Magnus locks everything. He locks his own mouth when he isn't speaking. Hang on. I might be able to use my wrench to get us inside. Do it. Wasn't quite the method of entry I was expecting. You can use your cockpit glass to fix the door. Go on. I'll hold the little one. Be careful with her. If she wriggles, stroke her from top to bottom. Calms her down. Man, that is one very well-secured subspace hatch. Well? I know, I know. Write the letters backwards so they're readable when the door's closed. No, no, look at this. She's making a face. Quiet, can you hear that? Someone's crooning. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. Nautica, swerve, whirl. I thought I had the ship to myself. What I mean is, you should all be on the observation deck, getting ready for hibernation. Wait a minute. What's going on here? You're all being stiff, awkward, and humorless. I approve. We've been carrying out a last-minute security sweep. Consider this area, um, swept. Andy Williams sings Christmas, though. Belter of an album. Observation deck. Now. If so much as one spark is detected, we're done for- Excuse me, I have to take this. How many times rewind? Each bed hides a single spark. Squeeze two bodies in there, two sparks, and one will be detected. Which means we all get detected. Which means we all get killed. Can't believe we got away with that. Who's got Sparky? Um, I may have hidden her in Magnus's office. What? Where? Ah! My armor! It's come to life! <laughs> yeah. What the hell? He was panicking! He made me panic! Are we sure I didn't just do that? Because that's the type of thing I would do. You knocked off his tiny mustache. I'm sorry. Uh, guys? We've lost him. Her. Them. We've lost a protoform in a battle suit. I'll get Minimus to his bed. You two retrieve the protoform. Primus knows how she's able to pilot that thing. And then what? I don't know, but look on the bright side. The ha happiest season of all. It can't get any worse. Five minutes, everyone. Anyone not preparing to hibernate will be ejected from the ship. Yerk. Ultra Magnus? You startled me. Swap. One last sweep of the ship, eh? Very conscientious. But there's only two of us left, I can assure you. Um, I'm sure I have no idea what you think you're doing, Ultra Magnus, but I've never given anyone a hug in my life. I knew it. This is your final warning. You're a solitary individual, and you can get lonely. I can empathize, but now is not the time. I am so sorry. He had a weak Energon spritzer to calm his nerves, and it's made him very affectionate. Look on the bright side. If you can endure that without surrendering to your murderous impulses, you know you're a changed character. All of you, get to your beds. Now!
You know, there's one thing I don't understand. If the little one arrived in a crate of NGX, who knocked on the door? A question to ponder in your dreams. I feel bad leaving you holding the baby. Don't worry about it. What are you going to do? Each bed can only hide one spark, and there are no spare beds. As I say, don't worry about it. Sorry, but it's you or the crew. If it helps, this makes me feel... Well, it makes me feel full stop. But at least I'm teaching you some life lessons. Don't rely on anybody. The universe is an unforgiving place. What's that Earth saying? Something about nature being red in tooth and... Claw? <sighs> Sod it. The Med Bay, later. Where is she? What have you done with her? Don't worry, she's safe. Or rather, they're safe. Safely contained. I'm afraid you've been nursemaiding an infestation of scraplets. As in tiny killer microbots? They're tiny, all right, except when they combine to see off a threat. And in their combined form, one body, one spark, they can change shape. I'm sorry, Whirl. After I came out of hibernation, I went to Velocity and confessed everything. I'm not a natural-born lawbreaker. When she mentioned the knock on Swerve's door, we looked at the CCTV footage, and everything became clear. We think the Scraplets hid inside a crate of NGX. After becoming disoriented in subspace, they assumed a shape that was unlikely to provoke attack. A newborn Cybertronian. I can't work out how they managed to hide from the Maulers when you were sharing a pod with the Scraplets. One pod, two sparks. One. I shut myself down, deprived my spark of energy. Soft termination. We're lucky we found you in time. To summarize, a swarm of sentient pathogens manipulated me into putting my life at risk by feigning kinship and mining a threadbare seam of compassion that I like to pretend doesn't exist. And they did all that just so they could live to kill again. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? I'm proud of them! The End Hi everyone! Here's the second part of my Patreon-sponsored three-parter. The next one will have to come after Christmas due to how hectic things are this time of year, I'm afraid. But I assure you I am working to get it done. Special shout-out to my patrons, Moondust and Chaos Spartan 575 You two are the best. If you'd like to be like them and request a comic scene or issue for me to dub and adapt, click on over to my Patreon and become a patron today. There are different tiers to fit your budget with a variety of rewards you can earn, among which include early access to all videos, special shoutouts on social media, requests for videos of certain lengths, inclusion in the credits of said videos, and more. As a reminder, if you decide to become my patron, you are under no obligation to continue that patronage and can alter or discontinue it at any time. Also, I'm on DeviantArt and am taking commissions for full-body character pictures. Here are a couple of examples. If you'd like to commission a character picture, click on over to my DeviantArt page and talk to me about it. Links for everything are included in the description below. However, if for any reason you're unable to do any of that, fear not, as liking, sharing, and subscribing is still a great way to help out and help reach new viewers. Have a most wonderful day, have a very safe and merry Christmas and happy holidays, and I'll see you all next time.